What's up everybody? In this video, what I got for y'all today is I'm gonna do a versus video, a comparison of the Liquid Logic RMX versus the Dagger Phantom. And one of the reasons I'm doing this is because the RMX is more like a downriver fast creek boat, just like the Dagger Phantom. So believe it or not, this is actually a more fair comparison than the Dagger Code versus the RMX, which I will have a video of the Code versus the RMX coming soon but what i wanted to do i wanted to show y'all a quick little comparison and kind of go over the specs and onto the specs i'll throw the specs up on the screen now the you can see that the dagger phantom comes in at eight foot eleven so right at about nine foot and the rmx comes in at nine foot four so four inches longer than the dagger phantom four to five inches give or take a little bit gallon wise too they're almost identical but the phantom is an 89 gallon boat now remember that's an 8 foot 11 package compared to an 86 gallon boat on a 9 foot 11 package so that puts the weight ranges i think are pretty fair 120 to 220 on the rmx and 145 to 2 55 they have the rmx is at 51 and the phantoms at 49 which i would disagree with that i would say the phantoms probably closer to 53 or 54 pounds i don't know where they got that 49 pounds but you know what we'll just go with it but yeah let's go ahead and go over the shape for you guys real quick look at the rocker the rocker's almost identical on the phantom compared to the rmx they have a very high rockered bow with a good taper going back on both look at this bow high rockered with a taper both of them have a peak top right here this is a little more rounded where you're going to see a difference is the phantom's a little more balanced coming out and stays a little more kind of like sleeker in its shape all the way where the the rmx is very narrow coming up like you can i don't know if you can see the width of the boats here and here but here's where you're going to see now the code is drastically wider than the phantom right here the code has a very wide platform right here where this phantom is like wide right here and looking at the rmx it's not as wide kind of thin taper and then it tapers back and then it widens up and cuts back quick you can see the phantom comes back wide and then slowly transitions back narrow I've always liked the Phantom. I, I still say it. The Phantom's one of my favorite boats of all time. It's just so good at everything. It's not one of these boats that particularly is great at anything. It's just really good at everything. I just really like the way the Phantom paddles. And I really like the way the RMX paddles too. So both of these boats are two of my favorite kind of nine foot type race style boats. Right here is where you're gonna see a drastic difference. You know, this one took a little shot, so it's a little dented right there. But this has more of that traditional kind of squared off tail, where this is that that half moon, like cut out swallow tail design that I showed in my walkthrough. Outfitting wise, you can't beat Dagger. Contour Ergo outfitting, you know, it's got adjustable seat right here, adjustable thigh hooks, step out pillar with adjustable bulkhead that you can pull back with toe cups. Very comfortable, very, uh, all the daggers are the same. They're very comfortable. Two handles in the back. That has one handle in the back. Do you really need two handles? I doubt it. One is just fine. And you guys, I do have my, my TK, my TK bolts there. Thanks of Matt if you want to check those things out. Outfitting to this, you know, I went over the outfitting. I'm not going to go over it too much. Uh, hip pads, adjustable thigh braces. It doesn't have a leg lifter, but it has a, a bulkhead with no foam. It's got foam instead of plastic step out pillar. Pretty standard. I really like Liquid Logic. I have no issues. But yeah, there you go. That's going over the decks and the outfitting. Let's uh, let's roll them over and compare the hulls now. Okay, this is something else that you're going to see. This is where it's going to be a little different is looking at the bow you know the bow looks fairly similar on both of them it's a little flattened out here tapers down but one thing that the rmx has i don't know if you can see it in the camera it stays flat all the way out this is slightly rounded out and the edge on the phantom is is more of kind of like a smoothed out hybrid edge where this i know it sounds crazy that i'm saying this this edge on a liquid logic boat is a little harder edge running down and you can see the the step on that compared to that edge there now what does that mean? This gives you a little better carving edge, but it's not as smooth overall coming off rocks and on those low manky stuff because the edge on the Phantom does run 
all the way out and it's not much but it is a slight edge that runs and you can see the taper that goes on there and the taper right here and that's pretty much all i got on the the hulls let's roll them back over and let's uh let's do the final thoughts and to do kind of a final kind of comparison here both of these are extremely fast downriver creek boats you actually can't go wrong with either one i really like both for downriver kind of racing but if i was if you said hey you could only choose one for a race boat for a short boat race I'm going RMX all day. And if I said I could only have one for like steep manky creeks, I'd probably go the Phantom, but I would be okay in the RMX. Actually, either one of these I'm very good with. As far as edging from edge to side to side, RMX beats the Phantom all day. So I think if you want that edginess, kind of grabby edginess with downriver speed, go RMX. If you want kind of a forgiving all around type boat that will kind of take care of you a little better, go the Phantom. Y'all leave in the comments below if you've paddled either one of these, if you got experience in the Phantom or you got experience in RMX. Definitely if you have experience in both, I'd love to hear your, your comparison of these too but yeah that's all i got today for y'all on the rmx versus the dagger phantom so yeah let's um let's get out of here Woo!